Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. How select men become non-select. Yeah, y'all, yeah. Look, um, here's the thing. And, you know, my main thing that I talk about in my books, uh, my main book, Nice Guys and Players, and other videos, and blogs is that women divide men into two groups select and non-select you know if you want to use alpha and beta go ahead or player and nice guy right whatever you want to use but most men get the point some of those they they get the lion share of play and others they have to struggle it is what it is Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I'm going to give you another angle. Just because a man becomes a part of the select doesn't mean he stays there. And, I mean, there's several examples of it. I'm going to provide three major examples. Now, the first example of when a, a man is select and he can become non-select is Mr. Goodbar himself. That guy with that raw sex appeal, right? And understand, um, one thing about this whole select, non-select thing, it's not so much he becomes non-select to the majority of women. It's that what happens is he'll get in a relationship with a woman and become non-select. And... Well, no, let me let me save that for the third one. Let me save that for the third one. But the thing with the Mr. Good Bar, if you if, you, if they're a guy who's relying on their uh, primarily looks, let's just be let's keep it one hundred. Most Mr. Good Bars, uh, well, a good percentage of them are there because of their looks, right? And there's another angle I'll, I'll get into in the third piece of the third major piece, but. Let's say they're there for their looks. Here's the thing. Those looks that got women going crazy when they're 22, it's hard for a man to maintain when he's 42. Now, a few can do it. A few can do it, and yeah, you, you got the uh, sexy grandpas out there and stuff. But most men, if they got that tight body at 22, they don't keep it at 42. They put on some weight. You know, if, if they were the type... Because you get a lot of uh, good bar types who, you know, they're drinking, they're smoking, using some illegal substances, you know, going through some stress, some drama. So, you know, when they get older, shoot, that main calling card they have disappeared. All of a sudden, women aren't like feeling that guy anymore. And sometimes I see it out there. I see those guys, they about, they might be in their 60s. You know, I remember, uh, I think a young lady was telling me, or a couple young ladies tell me, they were telling me about some old guys hitting on them, and they could see how when the guys were young, like, the guys were fine, but it was like, nah, they old now, got a pot belly, missing some teeth, still trying to be that player player, they non-select, you know, it's, it's hard, to, it's hard to keep that, even, um, the things that, like, a man might do that might be sexy. Like, a, you know, that bad boy is sexy to a woman when he's young. You know, he's doing some irresponsible stuff. He's having fun all the time. He's entertaining her. You know, when that dude, 52, if he's still doing the same thing, most women, most women are like, uh, dude, no, I don't have time for it. Because when a woman is in her late 40s and 50s, she, she got a couple kids. She got some bills to pay. She don't have time for somebody acting silly. Now, some would still mess with that type of guy, but, you know, if, usually if they at that age, if they going to mess with that dude who still wants some silly shit, they're going to get them a young boy if they'll at least try. But they don't want to deal with uh, some 50-year-old dude acting silly and got his uh, shit together. You know, and that, that's another thing, too. You get some guys, when they're young, they don't do anything. They, they you know, they just going from woman to woman, and they're not doing anything. You know, I talked a little bit about that in my uh, Taking a Break from the Game video. And 
you know, that guy becomes non-select. Now, that's yeah, that's one way. Now, see, the other guys in the select, those are the ones, uh, those are the masked men. And the mask is, it's not that they putting on a facade. It's that the woman is not really seeing who they really are, but the women is seeing their job status. They seeing the expensive clothes. They seeing the uh, late model car. They seeing the house. They seeing everything except who that man really is. In some cases, looks can actually be a mask too, if a woman doesn't look past it. So that can be a mask too. In fact, uh, masked men almost have to look good. Let me say that again. Masked men have to look physically good. But see, here's the problem with it. Now, not even get into that whole looks fade thing, because usually a masked man, they got that money. They can they can join a gym. They can you know keep the haircut going, everything, and get the nice clothes. So they can maintain their attractiveness, right? But here's where they can become non-select, though. What happens if they decide to leave whatever business had them as select or whatever uh, profession? I've known quite a few men like that. You know, they were in a status where, you know, they were pulling all the women. They could just say, well, I'm a so-and-so. You know, I'm an attorney. I'm a doctor. And the women go crazy. But then what happens when he has a spiritual infamy or... I don't know, it could be anything, or he just decides, he gets burnt out, and trust me, I know personally about that whole burnout thing, so he gets burnt out, and he decides, no, nah, I'm going to leave this, I'm, I'm going to do something more modest, or something more in line with my passion, or you know what, I want to go out there and work at a homeless shelter, or help homeless kids, or you know, do something that's not going to pay a lot of money, because it fulfills me, all of a sudden, that man... Once he lets go of that mask that he had, once he sells that car, he sells that big old home, he stops identifying himself as his profession because he, he changed it, you know, and he's more true to himself. You know, he can't afford those uh, those uh, patent leather shoes and stuff, right? He can't, he can't do that anymore. He got to live more modestly and everything. He is no longer select to women. Because very few women, let's, let's just keep it 100, very few women are going to be turned on by some man who gave up a whole lot to work in the community. I mean, as, I mean, he, he's literally, there's very few women. There, there are some women who would deal with that type of man because they there themselves. But for the most part, he's going to be non-select to the women. Let's just keep it 100. The money issue is major. And even though I could be talking about any race, any group, any ethnic group is real major in the black community. In fact, a video I need to do is that the real standard in the black community is not Mr. Goodbar, but the masked man. It's all about the money. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, there's no way you can really get around that, but that's a separate video. Anyway, so that's the second thing, the money goes, right? The third way... Uh, Select man can become non-select, and this is whether he's a Mr. Good Bar, this is whether he's a masked man, or he could just be non-select anyway, but you know what, he was able to get in there with the woman. And that's when the sex becomes old, or the relationship becomes star becoming stale. Look, often a man, a man, like, say a man gets together with a woman. And he's rocking her world when they first get together. You know, they get married or live together, whatever. I don't care how much he had her screaming every night. I don't care what chandelier she was throwing off. I don't care how much he had her ass up. I don't care how many times he had her levitating, speaking in tongues, contacting a distant galaxy. You know, contacting, you know, all those deities and stuff. I don't care what he, I don't care. I don't, she floating, she she got her eyes back. I don't care how often you doing that at first. Once she starts getting used to it, it's hard to take it to a new level. It's like I knew this young lady. I ain't going to say where I knew her because, but she used to hit marijuana. Man, she used to smoke a J-Lo almost like some people drink water. 
Me and her were cool though. She liked my ass for some reason, but she used to smoke J's joints like people drank water, literally, right? She she was smoking to the point that the shit didn't even get her high anymore. That's how saturated she got. Think about it. Any drug users listening, and I know some people listening to me probably hit some drugs. You you know, after some point, the shit don't even do anything for you. That's usually when people got to graduate to a harder drug. Or they, their body just gets so used to it. And I know, man, because I, I used to drink like crazy. And it got to the point, it, shoot, it take a half a liquor store to even get me drunk. I... I be throwing down some stuff, especially some malt liquor. I ain't gonna lie. I used to throw down malt liquor like it was water. And got to the point, it didn't, it didn't even do anything for me. You know, I like used to drink that Schlitz malt liquor bull. And it got to the point, I might as well have had a regular soda. So you get used to it. So a woman get used to that sex. She get used to those orgasms. She get used to all your moves. All of a sudden, that shit get old. And all of a sudden, you know what she doing? She looking for another Mr. Goodbar. And plus, you as a man, you know, you, you, our nature really, well, neither women don't have this at nature anyway, just to be with the same partner. So, you know, you ain't going to be hitting it the same way, especially like if she put on a little weight or even if she stay tight. It's like after a while, you ain't going to have the same gusto you did at first. And see, she going to feel it. She going to feel it. And then all of a sudden. You know, all that other shit that you do around the house that gets on her nerves. All that farting and all that shit you do and cutting your nails and walking around. And then you probably probably not keeping yourself in shape. All that shit start getting on her nerves. Shit. All of a sudden, you start looking non-select to her. You know, I mean, that, I mean, it's real. I mean, it's just some real stuff. So, you know, one of the reasons I made this video is just to let you know you don't always... Just because you get there don't mean you can stay there. You know, now some dudes, they smart about it. They just go woman to woman. They don't stay with one long enough to afford to find the flaws. Especially a lot of masked men do that. You know, they don't, they don't let a woman, like, dig in deep. Because they know what'll happen. And that's just, especially them. The good bars try to last a little longer because a, a lot of them got healthy egos. So they think they're going to look good and do well into old age. Most of them won't. A few will, but most of them won't. But here's the case. A man can become non-select. Once you get there, you really got to work hard to stay there because you get complacent all of a sudden. That uh, that dude at the grocery store, that young dude at the grocery store bagging your woman's uh, food and stuff starts looking real good to her. And that's only because, you know, she ain't been with him before. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.